Fruity, 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 fruity. Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you, and welcome back to another episode of Fruity Fruits. Today, I am going to be tasting coconuts, more specifically, water coconut, also known as young coconut. Now, Many of you may be thinking, why is it green and why is it that shape? Because I think a lot of us, when we think of coconuts, we think of the brown round sphere with a hard shell and the hairy exterior and the white flesh inside. That's what we think of a coconut. Yes, indeed, that is a coconut, but that's inside of this. This outside is called the husk. This husk is what is used to make coconut core, the stuff that you use if you do any kind of gardening or have house plants. You can add it to your growing mix. That's what this is, the ground up stuff. It's really fluffy and light, has a beautiful brown color. That is made of the fiber or the husk of the coconut. And inside of this is that hard shell which we think of when we think of the coconut. So this whole fruit is the coconut, but what we think of typically from cartoons and stuff, the nut is inside of this hus. If we use botanical words, this outside is the exocarp and the shell inside, which is the nut hard part, we call that the endocarp. So inside the shell, we have the white part or the meat of the coconut, and that's called the endosperm. Now, depending on how old the coconut is, the endosperm or the coconut meat may be really thin and jelly-like if it's a young coconut or very thick if it's an older coconut. Also, the water inside is the liquid endosperm or the coconut water. Same thing applies there. The younger the coconut, the more liquid you're gonna have. The older the coconut, the drier it's going to be. Isn't that fascinating? So very cool. So one thing to clarify, I always thought that coconut milk was the water that's inside of the coconut. That is not true. Coconut milk is made from the coconut meat, which is grated, water is added, and then squeezed, and all that beautiful milk that contains that beautiful coconut fat and the flavor of the coconut meat goes into the coconut milk. So the coconut milk is actually not naturally occurring inside of this coconut. Isn't that fascinating? I believe that for the longest time until my mom opened up a coconut once and said, no, the water is water. It's clear. It's not milk. Like, what in the world? And then she clarified. So today I'm going to be opening up these coconuts. These are young coconuts. I have green variety. I also have a yellow variety. These are two different species of coconuts. That's why they're different colors. And these are young, so they should contain a lot of the water and the endosperm or the coconut meat portion inside should be quite thin. Super excited about this. So I got two varieties. I'll put links down below to where I purchased these. I got eight total and I got yellow ones and green ones. And let's go ahead and open up a coconut. So I've got a big picture here to collect my coconut water. This is precious stuff after all. Now I've seen a few different ways to open up a coconut to retrieve the water specifically. And the simplest one is to just make a hole at the very top here. I've also seen specialized tools for opening coconuts, but I am just going to be using a pair of cleavers. This cleaver is quite special to me. This little one my mom sent me off when I went to college with this cleaver. So although I don't use it much, it's very sweet and sentimental to me. And this size is a really great size for me. So the very simplest method is to pop this little top off. This is where the coconut is connected to the palm tree. The coconuts grow together in clusters. There's a vine that goes like this. It looks kind of like a cluster of grapes way up high in the tree. And so that is the top. And here is the bottom. So what I'm going to do to make things a little bit simpler, I'm going to try to flatten this off so that it will sit. So it'll make it things a little bit easier. And I'm going to use my smaller knife because I'm more comfortable using it. So this is pretty hard. I'm just trying to flatten it out. Let's go with the bigger knife. Now you don't have to do this. This is just so it makes it a little bit more stable. So it's not pointed on top. I just want it to be flat. I'm gonna try this on the floor, hang on. Okay, I need a little bit more leverage because it's a little bit high for me. So I just gave it a couple whacks on the floor and now I can get through it. Okay, oh my gosh. 
There it is. It's not exactly flush, but it will at least stand. Great. So next what we'll do is we'll take a paring knife, which I'm going to sharpen really quickly. We're going to pry off this top. Apparently you can just pop it off from what I've seen. I think I'm just going to cut into it because I can feel it cutting. There we go. So go in a little bit and then pop it off. So in terms of storing coconuts, I guess it's pretty important to try to keep that top part intact. Okay, so there we have it. Now we just make a hole right into here and that will give us access to the juice. And this is not very tough. If you have a sharp knife, it kind of just goes in there pretty easily. Be patient here, don't go, don't rush things. So I'm just taking my time and I popped into there, but I'm still not all the way in to where I need to be. Now that I got the top portion out, this is a little bit easier. Still not in. Come on, coconut, show me your treasures. Wow, it's deep in there. I'm still not in. Look, not in yet. Oh yes. I am in. Look at that. I had to go in pretty deep. I would say good four inches or so. And not surprisingly, it smells like coconut water. Kind of very neutral smelling, not very perfumed. Although the outside of the coconut smells more, I would say. It smells a little bit more, what does that smell like? It smells a little bit like a mango skin. Have you ever sniffed a mango, the outside? It smells a bit like that, just slightly. But the inside smells like coconut water. So if you were to pick this up from a vendor, oftentimes they'll just put a straw in the top of your coconut. I get my straw in and then you just drink it like this. Alrighty, my first taste of coconut water from a coconut that I've opened myself. Cheers. Mmm, it's lovely. It's sweet, refreshing, and it doesn't taste at all like coconut. None whatsoever. When I think of coconut, I kind of think of Malibu rum, <laughs> that really fake suntan lotion flavor. That's not what this tastes like at all. It's very refreshing. All right, so let's put the coconut water in here so you can see what it looks like. Beautiful. There's actually quite a bit of coconut water in there. It's got a little bit of a cloudiness to it, but lovely. Okay, let's cut this open and see what it looks like inside. So this is pretty tough. So I'm gonna just be pounding this on the ground. Just don't bother, don't, you know, don't mind me. Wow, is that ever hard? I need an ax. All right, I'm gonna need a hammer. This isn't cooperating. All right, I'll be back once I get this split. Okay, I'm back. I had to use a rock. And with some pounding and my knife, I was able to split this. And in case you haven't noticed, opening a coconut can be quite dangerous. So proceed with the utmost caution. Alrighty, let's split this and see what it looks like inside. Here we go. Beautiful. Look at that. There it is. That's the hole that I made to get into the coconut. And inside is the coconut that we are familiar with. Now here is the endocarp, the shell. This is the fiber or the husk. That's the coconut core. And then inside that white part is the endosperm. And that's the meat of the coconut that we scrape and eat and make into all kinds of sweets and confections. Now this is very young, so the endosperm is quite thin. It's almost like a jelly. And then this was all filled with water. So now let's take a spoon and scrape this out. Look at that. See, that's kind of translucent because it's young coconut. Alrighty, let's give that a taste. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. It has the taste of fresh coconut, although it's quite light. 
The texture is jelly though, not at all dry and a bit slippery, and it finishes with a slight bitter waxiness, but pleasant. So this jelly is often cut up and used in desserts all over Asia, particularly in Southeast Asia, where coconuts grow really well. Mm, 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 mm. Great. Can you see that fibrous part right here? All that fibrous part is the brown coconut part that we are used to seeing maybe at the supermarket and stuff and in cartoons. Alrighty, green coconut. This is great. So the first one was a green coconut. Let's try a yellow one. This too is a young coconut. It is yellow because it is a different variety of coconut. Look at that, beautiful, right? So I'm gonna do the same technique, but this time I'm not gonna bother cutting off the bottom. Should I cut the bottom off? I already started doing it. Okay, eight days later, we have the bottom and we can pop off the top or we can also just take off the tip. Oh my gosh, sorry for all the noise. You can hear it inside. Look at that. So that might be something that you see more at the supermarket. All this would be shaved down as well. This white interior. Okay, pretty. Man, I would have like four arms of steel if I was a coconut vendor. All right, now we're just gonna lop this. I guess I'm not deep enough yet. Oh, I'm almost there. Ooh, see? There it is right there. Okay, I got the opening, all right. I'm in. It's not a clear round circle though, which I would have liked, but I'm in. This is my first time doing this, so there's that. Ta-da! So we can just drink it like this. Let's give it a taste. Ooh, this one has a little bit different flavor. It's a little bit like banana. I like it. So the coconut water that came from the green coconut tastes very similar to the coconut water that you can purchase. I'm very familiar with that flavor. But this one tastes different. It tastes more banana-y. A little bit sweet, slightly salty, and perfumed. Like it, subtle though, subtle perfume. Alrighty, let's put it in here. <laughs> so great. This one did not have as much juice in it, but it is a smaller coconut. All right, let's see if I can cut this one in half. I'm gonna do this outside. So I had just attempted to split this coconut in half, but the shell or the endocarp that's inside, it's much harder than the green one. So it was really challenging. I think I'll probably have to split this with an ax. Just put it on the chopping block and give it a good whack because with my cleaver and a rock even pounding on it, wasn't able to get through it. So. Glad the green one cooperated so you could see the inside or the anatomy of a fresh young coconut. So stinking cool. Love, love, love this free fruit series. If you love this series, let me know down in the comments below and any other fruits that you would like me to taste or try and I will see if I can get a hold of one. All right, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. I love hearing from you. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. <laughs>